Hi everybody, this is Julie with Rock and Rhythms Music, and I'm here to take you on a quick tour of our interactive online curriculum portal. Um, everything is on the web, so you can use it on the go from your cell phone, your tablet, your computer, wherever you are, um, and to be able to pull up the curriculum and do music activities with your kids. Um, we have four different levels of plans that you can use. Our Baby Rock curriculum is made for just kids zero to one and a half. We have Tot Rock, which is made for toddlers ages one and a half to three. Our Kid Rock is our big kids for rock and rhythms, and that's for kids three to six years old. And then we have Family Rock, and that's really made for um, when you have mixed ages between the ages of zero and six. Um, you'll see each of the tabs at the top here is color coded, so you know exactly which level you're looking at. Um, some of the activities are repeated across the levels, and then some are unique um, to that class that are just age appropriate fun things just for that age. Um, so each of the levels starts with coming in classical. Um, normally with that, I will dump out a bucket of instruments, uh, the same instrument normally, or if you're at home, you can just pull out um, an instrument for the kids to play with um, along with the classical music song. And these are all p pretty popular classical songs th uh, that you will, some of whom you'll recognize. Um, we've got the title of the song. You'll see activity instructions, and then you'll also see there are links to listen to the song on Spotify, which you can do for free. Or if you want to invest in the music, there are links directly to the song on Amazon and iTunes. Um, so I'll just click the Spotify link so you can see. And let's see, I'm not logged in. Log in with Facebook. Um, and then it'll take you right to the song. And there it is. So with one click, you've got the song for free. Um, after that, normally I start class with a hello song. Um, you've got the activity instructions. Any of the songs that we sing normally in our classes or in the curriculum, you've got lyrics. You've also got uh, an example to listen to the song. So I'll... You can just hit play. I'm gonna rock, rock, rock with my baby. Rock, rock, rock with my baby. Rock, rock, rock with my baby in rock and rhythms music class. And for the hello songs, I've actually got an example with the lyrics and no names or with the rhythm only. Um, so if you don't have a keyboard, you can use the rhythm file here and you can sing it and put your child's name in it. Um, Instrument songs, not all of them come with uh, an MP3, but this one in particular does. It's, I've been working on the railroad. So again, you've got your instructions, you've got the lyrics, a little bit of historical information, um, and a picture of the equipment for the instrument songs. The instrument songs are really great for fine motor skill development for all of the kids um, across the various ages. And I'll give you some things that you can do with the um, the rhythm sticks when you pass them out or with whatever instrument you're using. So again, you can just click to open and close these. Um, the next thing we normally do is a lap ride. Um, and you'll see again, the song you can play, the lyrics are here. You can bounce the children on the lap, move legs together. So there's instructions on what to do during the activity. This one's a fun one. <laughs> Again, another instrument song that's a cappella. So you've just got me singing in the example. I am shaking my maracas. I am shaking my maracas. Um, Peekaboo is a baby favorite. They love Peekaboo. Um, it's great uh, to work with um, object permanence and the fact that you're still going to be there. Um, it's non-scary, though, because they can see you through a transparent scarf. So normally these are transparent scarves. Normally that's where we what we use for the peekaboo. I, my babies will do this for ten minutes if I let them do just that. Um, but it's fun. And again, there's an example MP3. The signing songs for Baby Rock they all have um, an example video of me showing you how to make the sign. Um, yes and no. And it's also got just the MP3 that you can listen to. So you can play the video. Hi right everybody, in this is Miss Julie with Rock and Rhythms Music, and I am here to show you a baby signing song from our baby rock class. So I'm gonna show you how to make the signs first, and then we will learn a song that will help you remember how to make them. So we're gonna start with uh, yes. So you wanna make put your hand into a fist and then put your thumb across your fingers. That's the letter S, and then we nod that. That's
that's a yes. Now for no, you want to take two fingers and your thumb and snap them together. So that's no. So yes and no. Yes and no. All right, so here's our song to help you remember those signs. I nod my hand in letter S. I say yes, I say yes. I nod my hand in the letter S. Yes, 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 yes. And so on and so forth. Uh, we do a ball song in all of our lesson plans. The kids love playing with the balls. It's a way that they can um, feel the rhythm through their bodies and through movement. Um, we'll do everything from tap the ball to roll the ball to sit on top of the ball and bounce the ball and all sorts of things. Um, normally a playground ball works for this. Um, there's a couple songs that's a spiky ball. Normally you can even get those at a dollar store. Um, but the equipment again, the equipment pictures here, the song examples here. Uh, the world music dances are like the coming in classical. You can listen on Spotify or buy the song on Amazon or iTunes. Normally I'll do this with a scarf to dance with with my older kids, the babies don't necessarily need the scarf to play with because they'll just eat it. Um, musical explore time. Um, I, that's normally I just dump out a bucket of instruments, put on some of their favorite songs, and let them play with some instruments during that time. And then song time, baby rock, um, and all the levels. I let the kids pick their favorite songs for me to sing. And then you'll see in Tot and Kid Rock as I go through that curriculum, we actually start doing solfege syllables. Um, the puppets uh, are super fun. Um, if you do not have the puppet, you can print out a picture of the animal and stick it on a popsicle stick on cardstock. That's an easy way not to spend money on the puppet if you don't want to. Um, but the, the songs are still pretty fun. Um. <laughs> Mr. Alligator was swimming in the swamp. And etc. and so on and so forth. Uh, baby rock classes, we end with a lullaby and the goodbye song. Again, the lullaby, just like coming in classical and world music, you can listen on Spotify or buy the song. Um, and then the goodbye song, just like the hello song. Um, I've got the example with me just putting random names in, and then with lyrics and no names, you can put your child's name in, and you can say their name five or six times if you just have your own child, or if you have two child children, go back and forth. Um, tot Rock, uh, same kind of uh, functionality, um, but we add some activities and drop some activities based on their age. Um, we're just still doing coming classical hello, instrument songs, lap rides. We do a color or shape song every week for the tots um, because that's one of the things they're working on learning at that age. Um, shape Monster is probably one of their favorites. They love feeding it. Again, it's literally Dollar Tree. I got a piece of poster board and cut a hole and got there was a pack that had the stars and made stars for eyes um but for this one you can cu either cut out shapes uh grab objects of different colors that will fit through it could be a piece of construction paper it could be bean bags if you have bean bags different colors um but we do a different song a lot of the color shape songs um, are things where you'll hang stuff on like four different walls in a room so they're running back and forth between the walls. Um, th I try to do lots of movement intermittently, especially once we get to this level. Um, you'll see s the first few are sitting, but then you're up and down for this. We do an instrument song, then we get up again. We do start our body awareness songs in the Tot Rock. Uh, body awareness, the lyrics are things that you do with your body. So jump and stop, spin, shake, twist, um, Different songs will have different motions. And again, the MP3 for the, all the original stuff is right over on the side. So you can press play and listen to it. And so on and so forth. Uh, Solfege song. Um, we use echo microphones for that. Um, you can pick those up for pretty inexpensively. Um, and I'm doing a popular children's song, but I'm doing it on the syllables. Um, so the kids are actually learning solfege. I don't personally use the hand signs normally. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but as an adult, I have never in an adult choir had anybody actually use those. Um, but knowing the syllables and w the notes that they stand for within the scale definitely can be helpful for sight reading. So that's why I'm intro I introduced that. Um, and my example, I actually will do the solfege do, for you. Do, do, re, re, mi, So mi, I normally fa, start with a scale. Fa, so, so, la, la, so, 
so far for me, me, Ray. So normally Ray. the kids do, would do, 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 or you as the grown-up if you're facilitating do, for do, kids. So, so, la, la, so, far, far, me, me, Ray, Ray, do. And when I do this in class, I'll normally do a little bit of a phrase at the time and have them repeat. So, do, do, so, so, do, do, so, so, la, la, so, la, la, so, et cetera, so on and so forth. Uh, ball song again we do in this level we do in all the levels because they love it world music dance musical explore um, musical game is what, something I introduce in the level some of these will involve hanging things on the wall not unlike the color or shape songs might um, walk to the beat is one they love uh, you can do it with a pot and pan you can do it with a drum um, but basically you tap to the tempo and they have to move to that tempo um, Moving on, Kid Rock, our three to six year old plan. Again, same, super easy to use. Click and open and close. Um, you've got the outline. Um, we switch out the color shape song for an alphabet song. And it's a song that has lots of things that start with that letter in the song. So you can talk about all the different words that start with um, that letter. And normally it's something silly that makes them giggle. Uh, this one, mommy and the monkey went to get some money to buy milk from the masked man in the moon. Mommy made me meatballs to go with the milk from the man on the moon whose cow says moo. So they're silly a lot of times. I can do it several times. I'll have them lay on their belly and tap the beat to that. Uh, solfege again, we did that in Tot Rock. Pitched instrument songs with our Kid Rock. We start doing either boom whackers, handbells, or xylophones, um, or actually most xylophones are actually glockenspiels. If they're metal bars, they're uh, glockenspiel. If they're wooden bars, they're xylophone. But, uh, and I'll give you the notes to this song, um, but basically, if it's you, just you and your child, you can have them hit all the colors. If you have multiple kids or you're teaching a class, give them each their own color, and it's great for teamwork. And I will normally cue colors based on this. Um, so you'll have to know your instrument. Um, the I use xylophones that are the same colors as the bells and the boomwhackers, meaning they start red, orange, yellow, green, etc. cetera. Um, but xylophones can be very different depending upon the manufacturer you have. So you're going to have to look at that beforehand just to know what note equals what color. Um, composing activity is the other thing that we do um, that is unique to Kid Rock. Um, and I'm actually have them compose music as part of Kid Rock. Um, there are three different kind of composing activities and I normally rotate through each, like there's three in types and I'll do one, two, three, and then switch to the next type for the most part. Um, we might be composing melody, which is what this activity is with beanbag notation. Um, we do lyrics, um, musical Mad Lib is one thing that I like to do. Th so think like when you had the Mad Lib books to fill out, if you're old enough to have done that. Um, same concept, but we'll switch out words in popular songs, and you'll ask them maybe what's their favorite toy, and where do they like to go, and who do they like to go there with, and then they are actually writing the lyrics to a song. I'll also do some rhythm activities, um, stuff with like pizza slices, or and not real pizza slices, I'll give you printables for that, but where like a whole pie is a whole note, and a half pie is a half note, and they basically arrange the pieces, and then you kind of tap the rhythm back to them. Um, Let's see, so ball song, world music dance, musical explorer, game, puppet, goodbye. Um, and then family rock is a mix of uh, the activities. Um, if you have multiple age kids and you want to teach them together or you're doing a multi-age class and you want to teach them together, um, this is based on if you have kids that are basically in all three ages that would be within your class. For example, if you don't have any babies and it's just tots and kids, tweak this as you need to make it make sense for the age kids that you have. Um, so I keep the plan I have that's for all three ages includes Peekaboo from Baby Rock, um, the shape, color or shape song when it comes from Tot Rock, um, the pitched instrument songs from Kid Rock. Um, we d I do do the solfege, um, even though the little ones may just eat the microphones, that's okay. Um, we do the body awareness song because, again, the little ones still have fun bopping to the music, even if they're not going to get all of the tap your head, tap your belly, spin around, jump, etc. Um, and then we do do the composition activity. Again, depending upon their ages, if you have just babies and kids, skip the Kid Rock stuff. Feel free to adjust this based on what you need. Um, 
but that's kind of an idea of the whole portal. Um, I'll show you also too, when you join, if you like, okay, I want the activities, but I really don't care about these plans. Guess what? Here's songs and activities by category. And there will be at least 34 in every category. There'll be double that, well, pl more than double that in the instruments. So we have all of the alphabet songs, all of the body awareness songs, all of the color shape songs, all of the classical songs, composing activities, lap rides, lullabies, games, peekaboo, maybe I'm going too fast, but puppets. Um, a lot of them I'll actually include information about whatever animal that we're doing. Some of them are just for fun, but some of them are actually educational too, like caterpillar, chrysalis, butterfly goes through the life cycle of the butterfly through a really cool puppet. Um, signing songs, solfege songs, ball songs, instrument songs, like I said, there's like 67 of those. Um, uh, pitched instrument songs, world music dances, and there's some bonus songs that I'm not using within the plans that f I retired for various reasons from my curriculum, but there's lots of finger plays in there. There's some musical concept songs, some super silly songs, um, some color songs that weren't as active, but are still good songs. Um, so that's just kind of an idea of that. Um, if you do join the membership to, um, there are member forums, there are class outlines. Um, I've got some example class videos. Um, you can get Rock and Rhythms logo apparel if you would like. Um, and I will be doing live question and answer sessions once a week. Um, I want to answer your questions. If there's a song you're like, oh, I wish there was a song about, tell me because I really like writing music and I would be happy to come up with songs that help you, whether it be with transitions or something you're trying to teach. Um, I love writing music, so just let me know and I'm happy to write some more songs to add here, whether they're bonus songs or they get used in the curriculum. Um, if you have other questions, uh, please email me, julie at rockandrhythms.com. I would love to answer your questions. Um, if there's a way I can make this more helpful or better for you, let me know. Um, and you can download a free sampler of music from me. Um, if you go to rockandrhythms.com and you go to... 10 free songs. Guess what? There's 10 free songs. Um, just put your name.